ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of our custom kit creation. Today we're going to cover uh, how to fix up the kit code so that uh, the colours are right for your numbers, your names, uh, and of course where the scoreboard is, making sure those colours match up with what's happening with the kit. And we're also going to cover hotspots today. Uh, I will have another tutorial uh, coming up on how to add third kits, and if you haven't followed along, there are two parts to this uh, previously, so follow those two tutorials before you get in to this one. So uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need another program that is called RDBM. Now it's a database manager. Uh, there will be a link in the description on where you can download this. But before we get to this, there's a couple of things that we will want to do. So go into your FIFA game, load up the save that you're wanting to change the kits are and create a backup. I cannot stress this enough. Always create a backup before you start doing any mods because if you corrupt that career mode file, it's gone, it's done, it's dusted. So open up FIFA before you start any of this, create a backup so that it is your latest save. The next thing you wanna do is load up the Revolution Database Manager. Now, if we go here to open file, and it should be in your documents folder uh, under FIFA 23 and settings. If you change this to career files, it should have your latest save if you sort by date modified. And we just want to open that one up. What this is going to do is load that career mode save. There is a lot of data in here that you can mess with. Uh, but I say be very careful. If you want to have a play and learn things in this, it can be an incredible tool. But uh, yeah, always make sure that you do have a backup. It will take a little while to load. It's got to load basically everything from your career mode save in regards to data to players, teams, heaps of stuff. So you, you can really get in here and make some adjustments. But uh, we're just going to look at kits today. Uh, well, waiting for the load screen. Right, so once it's all loaded up, it will say ready at the bottom. What you need to do here is go across to DB number two, and I want you to scroll down. It could be in a different order. It seems to be uh, different each time, but you're gonna look for the uh, the one here called Team Kits. Now, what this is, is uh, every team, every kit allocation, um, with a whole heap of coding, I'm not gonna overwhelm you. There's only a few things we need to do here, and it is very, very simple. The first thing we need to do is export this team kits file. So if we come up the top here, the left side, export single table, and then just pick somewhere to save that. Right, so it should be called team kits. It should be a text Unicode file. We'll just hit save. The other thing that you may need to do, particularly with the English teams, uh, I haven't needed to use it this season or, or this career mode with uh, the German teams, but I know the English teams you need to also do uh, one that is called competition kits. So if we can just find that one, competition kits here. I want you to export that one as well and save it as competition kits. Okay, you've exported those things. Let's head over to uh, the FIFA kit creator. Now, there is a very special tool here that makes things easier. In, in days gone by, we would basically go into the database and actually have to manually enter all these numbers. But these lads here uh, at the kit creator, if you click this little hamburger here, there is a team kits editor. If you're doing the team kits and the competition kits, you'll need to open this twice. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do it once. So we click this and it opens up a fresh window. Right, now what you need to do is open that, uh, that kit file, team kits. And then in here, you will type the team that you are looking for. So if I put in clone, here we go. Now you've got your kits here. Uh, they already have a third kit, which is great. We'll cover how to add a third kit uh, in a future tutorial, but we're dealing with the home kit, of course. So if we click the home kit, uh, it brings us a whole heap of jargon that uh, if you're familiar and know how to use this, you can make these changes. But when we downloaded the kit, there is actually a settings file that we can load. So if we hit load here, so navigate to your kit folder and there should be a, uh, a settings file. So within that folder that you downloaded with all the kit pictures that you've just put in the mod previously, there will be a settings folder. If you open this up, it'll actually manipulate everything to uh, align itself with what should uh, you know match up. Now you still have the opportunity here to change fonts um, captain's armbands you can differentiate your colors here now what i like to do is this one's all black but if i look at this kit well i've got some green on it so if i come here 
and click on the green. I can grab this code here, copy and paste, control C, and then I can bring that one in here. And then maybe I'll uh, grab this red as well, control C, and I'll add that to the third color. Now my personal preference is to do 70, 20, and 10. We've got sleeve badges, which hopefully they're aligned with the league that you're working on. Now we've got the shirt name, shirt number, and short number. So at the moment, what we're looking at is the numbers will be this white color. As you can see represented down here, this is how it will look on the back of the jersey. So this will always stay black for the name, but that is actually the color that it's going to be. So if we look at our kit, spin it around we know that you know it's black so white should be pretty familiar same as with the shorts white numbers should be okay so we can stick with the white if we wanted to try and put a little bit of an outline around it uh, possibly we could use this green and if we're lucky it may it really depends on uh, the font number so you, you can adjust these fonts, but just be careful because some of them are actually dedicated to specific teams. Um, but there we go. So we've got white placement. Everything's good. Once you're happy with how this is all sitting, um, don't really worry about all of this kind of stuff. It should be imported from the data. Just worry about your colors. And uh, then all you need to do is hit save. We'll ask you if you want to save the changes. Yes. And it's now saved that team kits file. So what you need to do is come back to your RDBM, uh, find that team kit section. Right, so if we go and look at team 31, and we are dealing with the home kit, which will be zero. Zero is the home kit, one is the away kit, and two is the goalkeeper kit, and three is the third kit. So we're dealing with number one here. So if we do scroll across, just to give you a bit of an indication to see if things are working, uh, the good ones to look at will be if these colors do change. Because we haven't loaded that file in yet. So if you did change the uh, the sleeve badge number or anything like that, these numbers are what are getting updated across this table. So all we need to do, nice and simple, is import that single tab, import that team kits file and hit open. It's replaced that piece of the code, and then we need to save um, our kit file, okay? Right, once it says ready, that means that that file has been updated. You can load up FIFA and have a look and make sure that everything's okay. If there's adjustments that you need to make, you just export that file again, go into your team kits creator, fix up what you need to, hit save, reload, load up FIFA again and until you get it right. Okay. The next thing we need to look at is hotspot. So if you load up your uh, file that we created in the last tutorial um, and we go down to our club, we can see one here that is called hotspots. Now what this is determining is basically the positioning of shirt, badges, uh, names, numbers and all that kind of stuff. If you double click this file here, it'll load up an asset. You'll have a whole heap of hotspots. This is going to get crazy. Don't even worry about it. All you need to do is if there's a particular layout, um, so say the goalkeeper kit was different to how their home kit was loaded up, you could effectively grab this home kit, the one that is perfect, right click here on hotspots and hit copy. You would then go to the second kit that you wanted to change those to. So for instance, we go to the away kit, we double click on the hotspots, we right click here and we go paste. Now what that has done is overwrite the data of how the hotspots and where all the numbers are positioning. So if you find one that is correct that you're looking for, just copy and paste that over, uh, save your mod and have a look in game and make sure it's all right. So we'll save this up, we'll export it all and uh, we'll go have a look inside FIFA. Right, so we've loaded into the game. You can see there the top of the score world. We've got black and green, which we added to the team kits. And if we come in and zoom into the kits, well, we've got the white text there for the number. Uh, with the green around it, which is uh, quite nice. And of course, we would need to fix up the hotspots or move the uh, feeler badge when we create the kit uh, if we want to keep the number there and not really mess with the hotspots. If you're not really comfortable messing with the hotspots, you're better off moving graphics and stuff around and just letting the numbers uh, sit how they are. But there we go. 
that's how you uh, can change the colors with the team kit file and RDBM. Uh, you can mess with the hotspots if you need to. Uh, and in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a third kit uh, to possibly some of those lower league teams that don't have it. Um, if you want me to try and investigate uh, Creator Club, which is not something that I've looked at, but I'm happy to try and suss that one out, do let me know in the comment section. But that's all we'll leave it today. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Spiron DK, it's five o'clock somewhere, and you, have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel, sign up today, and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video comes.